Howdy folks, and yeah, it's Thursday, giveaways and uh, more giveaways coming this afternoon here. But right now, I just wanted to talk to a little bit about WISS and another tool that they make. WISS, W-I-S-S, -S, yeah, WISS, they make some really good uh, sheet metal snips, and I've got, I've got a collection of these things. I've had 10 or 12 at my, in my toolbox at one time. Uh, they've always been handy, even sometimes, you know yourself, when you're out in the shop, you're out in the garage, and you come up on some of this uh, packaging like we did just the other day here, a lot of times I'll just grab my whisk cutter, you know, and I'll just snip through the, uh, like that, and just take the plastic right off kind of thing. But, but really they're, they're sheet metal cutting, and they are a brand name that has been around forever. But they make something else that's, uh, I didn't know about it. It's been around for a while, but they're available. Let's take a look. This right here, yeah. So here we have it. Now, there is some confusion. Uh, Wiss makes really good metal snips. In fact, like I said, I, I swear by them. I've had them all my life, I guess, for cutting up sheet metal work. When I first saw these, I was thinking, I'm automatically uh, scissors for sheet metal. Why? But they're not. They're for roofing, siding, uh, plastics, uh, landscaping work, you know, that kind of thing. So they're a real good pair of heavy scissors to have in your toolbox from Wiss. And Wiss, just because of the, the crescent and the brand name Wiss is like, oh yeah, definitely, we're gonna have some quality here. And I'll get them out of packaging here. And that's what the packaging looks like right there. And it says on the back in real small words here, so you know, not for metal, of course. Ah, you know, okay. I'm not doing everything, you know, when I'm doing metal, I'm gonna grab my Wiss snippers anyways. I have a lot of different metal snips around for cutting metal, but for plastic, and these are uh, right-handed, so you have to watch that right-handed or left-handed, you know, pair. And I am horrible with scissors, but uh, these things here, like that plastic right there, just, you know, snips right through it, of course. They're titanium-coated, and they're well-made. They're excellent quality. So I thought I'd bring this, uh, these to your attention today, guys, because, you know, uh, I like to keep a good pair of scissors in my toolbox like these all the time. Just for those other things, like cutting up vinyls and plastics and what have you, they're a terrific pair of scissors. And with that brand name Wiss, uh, actually Crescent Wiss uh, brand name scissors, you know, wow. Now if you hear boom boom in the background, yeah, that's that's real thunder. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you these today, and we're going to provide a link in the description below for where you can find these. But I think they're a terrific pair. I'm glad they were sent in today to take a look at. And I'm pretty, I tested them a little bit here and there, cut a few things with them, and there they are. They're, they're impressive. They, they cut real nice, but they also, uh, they're in line with the hands, so they like to cut straight, which for me is really a miracle, because I'm, I'm one of those, you know, I'm all over the place when I cut something. So, really good pair of scissors. We got a draw today. I gotta go find a bucket. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back. I've got a I've got a bucket. And I've got all the tickets made up from all the entries for a uh, pink screwdriver. And we also have a pink thermos for some reason. I don't even know where that came from, but anyways, we, we've got pink today. Yes. Where's yes. 19 in one ratcheting screwdriver. This is a nice outfit. And uh, I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll provide a link in the description below where you can find these, but uh, I'll see if I can find the other color, which I think is gray or something. Anyway, we'll, we'll put these in, in the description below for you. I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get, let's get drawing. <laughs> let's see who gets a pink screwdriver. And uh, also, uh, I think we have, yeah, we do. How about a booby prize? <laughs> Oh man, I waited a few minutes and the thunder and the lightning has calmed down. The rain has backed off a little bit. So hopefully it's not on my audio track as much as the other one because um, it was just too noisy to record. So I had to actually stop and wait for a bit. And now it's like, yeah, it's, yeah, it sounds like it's going away. Texas. Anyway, we finally got some rain. Oh, we've been eating it so bad for so long. Okay, here's a bent up old ticket here and it looks like oh boy Elvin you're in you're in Florida huh. 
I can't figure out the name of that town. I'm going to, I'll just butcher it, but uh, I'll say uh, probably pronounced uh, Eustace or something. Something along that line. I've never heard of it. I don't even know where that is, but uh, your zip code is 32736. So, Alvin, you got your. Alvin, you got a pink screwdriver coming. Wow, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna mail it out to you by Monday, Alvin, and it'll be on your way. Thank you for entering, Alvin. Love the state of Florida. Man, what a great state. Anyway, I think we should do another one, just for fun. Yeah, let's do the old tweezer, man. And these are great for, if you get a sliver, if you get a sliver or working around wood, this thing will save your life, you know. And it's just, they work so well, I, I really like them. They're great, especially with real nasty little tiny slivers that really bother you, you know, you can just like dig them out kind of thing and without too much pain. So let's find a, who's getting it? Yes, we're getting it in John, up in Duncan, Oklahoma. I don't know if I've heard that one before or not. I don't think so. John, I'm gonna send you a pair of tweezer man. <laughs> so here's some tweezers and let's see. Why don't we draw for some? Nah, you don't want this, do you? Yeah, it's uh, coffee thir or water service. It is what it is. It's it's pink. So <laughs> anyway, guys and gals, thank you for entering because it's just nice to see the names and the addresses. A lot of uh, people that write in every week, you know, like oh, I see the names and the columns coming up on the sheet. And it's like oh yeah, I know most of them. <laughs> most of them. They're all good characters, all of them, you know. <laughs> so. What are we going to do now? Well, we, we got to give something. Next Thursday, we're going to have a draw. <laughs> Let's get rid of the bucket, and then we'll we'll come back with our draw for next Thursday. Yes. Okay, we're back. Yes, we're back. Uh, while we took a little break here to get ready to give away for next Thursday, I took a look to see where Mr. Uh, Alvin there, where he lives. He's not too far from a place called Mount Dora, Florida, which a couple years ago, many years ago, I was there for a craft show uh, in Mount Dora, and that's, you just have to see that to believe it. It, is, it was insane. I have never seen a craft show like that ever. But it's also a beautiful little town, and it's right by a gorgeous lake. It's, it's a pretty area. Uh, I even, yeah, I even looked at a house in Mount Dora area to see if there was any chance of uh, buying something there for real estate at one time. It's just, it was that, uh, wow, you know. Anyways, Alvin, you're not too far from there. I don't know what your area looks like, but it's probably, it's probably pretty too, because there's a lot of big lakes right in that area. Not too far from Orlando, Florida, actually. Wow. We got two things here to give away, so uh, we got to do this somehow. So first off, uh, yes, you saw this Monday, and we're going to give away a wood blade, wood cutting blade for whoever wants it. So in order to get in on this contest, you're going to have to email me to ctrewards at gmx.com, and I'll go over here and I'll give you the address there to ctrewards at gmx.com, and then. Uh, in the subject line of your email, uh, put wood, just like that, wood. And uh, one entry per household, of course, and uh, we'll draw for this next Thursday. And some lucky winner will have himself one of these. Now, the other one is the metal cutting blade, so we're going to do that one as well. Same thing, uh, write an email to ctrewards at gmx.com, right there. But in the subject line, write uh, metal, and that way we'll know which which one your your entry is for. Uh, one entry per household, and so either wood or metal, depending on which one you want. In the body of your email, uh, just your name and your address. That's all. Don't write anything else. Just that's it. Just like you're doing a postal return. And we'll have to separate those tickets. That's going to be a real mess, but uh, somebody's going to have to work extra hard in the office to uh, figure all that mess out. <laughs> yeah. But if you saw the uh, reviews on Monday, both of these are very good for what they do. Uh, just between you and me, I also talked a little bit to the company about the spacer issue that I had to make on a 3D printer. Uh, and of course the type of grinder. I checked a few grinders and I seem to have the same problem with some of the other grinders that I ran into. So yeah, uh, they definitely need to, somebody needs to make a spacer. 
Uh, there's a friend of mine up there in uh, New Hampshire named Keith, and I was thinking maybe Keith and I could get together and we'll just make a little factory there and we'll just pump out spacers for these things and then we'll just sell them and make, Keith will make millions, you know. You know, don't want to do it? I don't know. That's, maybe Don will help me out with that. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everyone again for entering uh, this week. I've got mosquitoes in here, so I'm slapping my leg. Rain, thunder, and mosquitoes show up. Well, it's, it's just one of those kind of days, I guess. And it's still warm in this garage, even though it's, it's pretty cooled off. It's really cooled off outside because of the rain. Anyway, so those are the two things we're drawing for next Thursday. Next week, um, I don't know if we'll do a booby prize next week because we have two items to draw from, so I don't know how that'll work out. We'll figure it out, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's just sign off and get this over with. Man, these mosquitoes are eating me up. Whew. Okay. Like always, guys, thanks for tuning in and viewing. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell so you don't miss any of these crazy draws. And whoa, over and out. Oh, and the coffee I'm drinking this week is uh, yeah, Tim Horton. Tim Horton coffee. Huh. I had to mention that. <laughs>